As the search for Robinson's remains continues, Anderson's former co-worker is speaking out for the first time. Stephanie Quirk joins us live, and Steph, she described his previous behavior to you. Yes, well, Anderson is charged with first degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse and arson. Now, when she first heard he was a person of interest, it was shock. Now, as charges come down, she's questioning every interaction they had. This is 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. He's the man accused in the gruesome killing of 19 year old Shade Robinson. And this is his former co worker. It just like breaks my heart. Like for the like for the family and stuff like that. Samantha Brenner says she bartended with Anderson at Victor's this summer. Get a, like very drunk at work and like his behavior was a little erratic, but nothing, truly nothing that ever sparked a huge red flag. Investigators say Anderson and Robinson went on a date April 1st, sometime between 9 and 1245 that evening. Prosecutors say Anderson killed Robinson, dismembered her body and spread her remains across Milwaukee County. The morning after, investigators say Anderson set Robinson's car on fire and got on a bus after. Fox 6 obtained surveillance video of Anderson matching his description from police that day. Uh, there's a guilt aspect, like I wish I could have picked up on it or something. Um, and I just couldn't. Like, it just like, nothing went off in my head. No. According to investigators, DNA shows Robinson's severed leg was found in Cudahy, April 2nd, the day after she'd last been seen. <laughs> Meanwhile, community members are searching for the rest of her remains. I wouldn't even be able to sleep knowing that my baby is a little bit of everywhere in the city right now. Hoping to bring this young girl's family a little bit of peace. She's sweet. She's loving. She didn't deserve this. And the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office did address rumors circulating on social media tonight that Anderson had been released from custody. However, they confirmed that is not true. He still remains in custody on $5 million bail. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News. I bet you there's so many people tonight just kind of retracing their own steps when it comes to any sort of uh, relationship or crossing of paths, if you will, with the man suspected of this. Steph, thanks.